Hello, Ms. Burns here, and today what I want to do is teach you about how to pick a just right book. So when you're in the library, we want something called a just right book, which is a book that's right when you are reading well. And there's a quick and easy way to do that when you're selecting your books in the library. It's called using the five finger rule, and it's right here on my poster. It's pretty easy to follow. Um, I'll read you the poster, and then I'll go over and show you an example of exactly how to do it. So when you open up a book, you're going to turn to any page, first page, last page, middle page, doesn't matter. And you're going to look at it and you're going to read the words. And you're going to get your fist. And every time you don't know a word, you're going to put a finger up. So if you didn't know two words, two fingers would go up. If you didn't know four words, four fingers would go up. And the amount of fingers up can help you determine what type of book that is for you. So if you didn't know all the words and you had five fingers up, that would be too hard. If you didn't put any fingers up, that book's too easy, you know all the words. You want to get a book that has a couple words that you don't know so that way you're learning from it. So if you have zero or one, it's too easy. If you have two or three fingers up, if there's two or three words you don't know, that book is just right. You want to have either two or three fingers up. If it's four fingers, that's okay. It's a little tough, but you know what? You could try it, see what you think of it. And if five fingers again is too hard. So let's say I'm going to open up the book, Big Egg, turn to any page. So I'm just going to turn. So once you take your book off the shelf, you look at it. And I'm going to read this one. Is it a cat egg? I knew all those words. Too easy, got to put it down. Let's try this book. It's a very popular series, Warriors, in the fiction chapter book section. Again, open it, any page, and I'm going to try and read it. Fireheart looked into his friends were, don't know that one, eyes and began to don't know that word. He spoke, sp spot, hmm, gray stripe did have a point. They had been for only a few days, so they were in no po position to start her, her, I don't know that one. I'm already at five words. I didn't get very far. This book is too hard for me to read. I need to put that one down. So I go look for another book on the shelf, and I find Darth Paper Strikes Back. It's one of the series from the Origami Yoda books. I'm going to turn to any page here. All right. This was Yoda's worst of all time. Do you know how hot that King costume was? Every day after school for three weeks, I had to wear that thing and march around. Hmm. Also, I can see that this case file is really all about making me seem like a villain. Okay, fine. I'm the bad guy because I made a couple of jokes privately. Two fingers. That's it. I knew all the other words. This book is just right. There were a couple words I wasn't sure of so I can learn them, but most of the words I knew, which means I'll understand what I'm reading. And in a just right book, you need to understand what you're reading. Okay, so today and every day that you're in the library, when you, when you use your shelf marker and pick out a book, I want you to also get your fist ready and do the five finger roll. This poster will be hanging in the library to remind you to put your fist up and count the words you don't know on any page. All right, every time you pick a book, try and do that. Even in your classroom or if you're at the library at home or the bookstore, use the five finger roll. All right, see you in the library. Bye.